Hi there. Right, this clip is all about talk. I'm not talking, it's about talk, generation of talk within the body so that you're able to deliver maximum impact of multiple strikes, whether that be several strikes off the same side or alternating. The problem that most people have, especially in a self-defense situation, is that they throw a big, big strike, and then because of the way they've done it, and the way that their balance has changed, they could only throw off the other side next. So for example, they throw a great big right hand, and then all they've got left is their left. They can't throw anything else. And you see this all the time. But you need to be able to deliver repeated strikes off of either side with power. And this is exactly what we're going to show you now. So let's have a look at the clip right now. Okay, now striking. This is an area that is really misunderstood. Right? especially by people who are big and strong. Right? Now, you'll see this a lot. A lot of people are here, and they're like, oh, oh, and we call them oh, oh, fighters, because it's always a big woof, woof, like that. And you know that once they've thrown one, they've only got the other hand that they can throw. And once they've thrown that one, they've only got the other hand that they can throw. And it's all about weight distribution and what we call posting on the leg. Now, you'll even see it with some boxers. They'll be in, they'll throw the jab, and they've only really got a right hand. And after the right hand, they've only really got a hook or whatever. And it's this alternating left, right, left, right, left, right that goes on. If you post correctly on your lead leg, you can keep throwing repeated shots off of one hand, the other hand. You can throw as many as you like with full power. Now the important bit is this posting. So if I was here lucky enough to split and, and headbutt in here, and I'm, I'm posted now on my back leg, look. The weight's off of this one. I'm pushing down on this one. Look at the heel here. It's up. Now most people from there would be thinking all they can really do, because the weight's here, is extend boom here, or go left, right. If you push down on there, you've got repeated lefts you can throw. Bam, bam, you can throw shots one after the other. You can throw knees, kicks, everything, because you're posted. If you're posted here on the front leg, you've got repeated shots. I can keep throwing that right hand with full power and the left, repeated shots, because it's posted right. So you've got to understand this posting here. So you've got full power in every strike and repeated. You can throw doubles, trebles, everything because of that posting. If I'm doing it more martial arty, I've only got one. And you can feel the energy, you can feel there's nothing really there. When you're posting right and you're in here, you've got it, you're posted. You've got your kicks, you've got your strikes. So it's massively important you get that posting right. And there's torque here. Now, if I'm splitting here, and I'm splitting backwards, for example, in this one, I'm torqued here. So I'm now set to throw. I can throw this way because I've not fully torqued. I'm torqued enough to enable me to throw a left hook, repeated. But I'm also talked enough to throw my right. So it's not a full twist. It's not a full pull back talk. When you split, here, I'm talked both. I've got everything. You'll notice the head comes forward. So what's the point? The head's there. If I can't hit with this one, why am I even bothering? I've got to be able to drop, boom, to drop them in. If I'm 
doing the split and moving in, I've got to be taught elbow, whatever, taught to throw every shot. And it comes from here, this, from the waist up, this turn. The hips aren't moving, look. The waist is moving. And that gives you that torque ready to go. But then, once the waist has moved and the hip is turned from the hip, boom, now it's full power torque. Every shot can be full power. Boom, boom. All right? It's massively, massively important that this torque effect is right. Then every strike is going to have an effect. So, just off of this simple split, you've got in, right? And we're stopping here because I don't want to be hitting my training partner. If I do it off to the side, when we're in here, boom, <coughs> right through. So your punch that was here doesn't stop here. You don't stop. I'm going to miss. <laughs> so, boom, <coughs> right through them. So that that punch means something. It's not, I'm just going to slow motion. It's not that. It's <coughs> right through. In the gym, in the dojo, for safety, we're all, we all do it. We're in here and we, we stop. Would have got you, would have got you. But you've got to get used to having the mindset of boom, right through them. Boom, right through them. Right. So you will aim to miss, obviously, with your training partner. But anyway, it's here. Boom, right through him. Right through him. Right through him when you're training. It's not going to be... like that. Because you're not training it right, you'll find that you're losing the movement. You've got to be... <coughs> so you're getting that feel for it, so that everything's got a bit of oomph behind it. Right? You can do that with each other safely. You don't have to smash each other up. But you've got to have this talk, okay? Very, very important. Thanks, mate. Okay, so you can tell from, from that clip that it's majorly important that you have that lifting up of the heel, that alignment, that skeletal alignment from your, from your feet, your knee, your hip, your waist, your shoulders, and everything else, so that you get that movement so that you're able to deliver repeated power strikes off of either side and multiples thereof. So you don't have to go left, right, left, right. You can go bang, 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 left, bang, 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 right. And it can be punch, slap, knee, elbow, kick, whatever it may be. The strike is just the strike. The important thing is to get that positioning right so that you can talk off of either leg and you can switch legs and move around with it. Obviously, you're not going to just stand there. It's all done on the move. One of the other very important aspects of that clip, and this is missing all the time in, in training, you see this especially with people who train self-defense and things like that, that they miss out on this very important aspect. And you know, we've all been guilty of it, so it's not something that, you know, we're just picking on, on one lot of people. We've all been guilty of it. And it's where you send in your punch and you control it and you stop it on or close to the target or whatever it may be. Which is okay. It's, it's part of training and you'll build up from there. But you'll notice that we talk about um, where you aim and, and where you're, you're putting the strikes through. You've got to get used to a real development of that full on, full strike all the way through. Obviously you're not going to smack your training partner full on and follow through with the, the whole thing, boom, you know, take the jaw off, it's ridiculous. So you're aiming to miss. Now I need to really address this point. People say, if you aim to miss in training, you'll aim to miss in a fight. Blah, 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 fuck off, bullshit. Okay. 
you're aiming right, at something, a target that's away from the head of your training partner. So you're hitting exactly what you are aiming at. Right? You're not training to miss. You'll notice I said aim to miss. So you aim at a target that isn't your training partner's jaw when you throw a full on, full power, bare knuckle punch at it. Because that's hardly fair to your training partner. And when it's their go next, you don't want them doing it to you. You'll only get one training session in, won't you? Because if you can really punch and you do it bare knuckle on jaw, that's the end of the training session. And they should be spending the next six months in traction. So, we don't do it, do we? We aim to miss. Now, you can aim to hit when you've got full protection on, you've got boxing gloves and stuff like that, but that changes the dynamic. It's not a self-defense situation per se, it's a spa or a fight, which is slightly different. I'm all for that, we do it all the time. But when you're practicing for self-defense, you're practicing bare knuckle, and you're practicing this whole movement, then once you've got used to doing the movement, getting the feel for it where it is, where your targets are, then it's time to aim to miss and get used to delivering that full-on blow right the way through the target. Now, what other benefits does that give you? Well, it ensures that you're used to that full-on movement and where you actually end up should you have done that movement properly in a real, real go. Which obviously sparring helps with as well. But again, most times in sparring you don't get that full effect of that real oh, woof like that. Because again, you're not trying to kill each other, you're trying to really damage each other. You're training and helping each other. And it's unusual in a spa that you'll be going on, full on trying to mother each other to bits. So you need to understand all of that and make it an integral part of your training. Now, before we go any further, please press the like button thingy. I don't know where it is. And uh, the subscribe button if you haven't already. Apparently the geek said it really helps with some algorithm. No idea what it is. Like I say, if I can't edit it, don't understand it. But anyway, like button and subscribe button. One of them's here, one of them's here, or they're somewhere. Anyway, they'll put them on there, whatever. But please press those. So anyway, this talk that we talk about, critical, critical. And same movement applies open hand with a weapon. When you're pushing something, pulling something, prodding something, just touching something before you hit it, twisting it round, setting it up, whatever it may be. Whether you've got the arm in a lock and you use that torque to snap it, whether you've got whatever in a lock, whether you're just grabbing, whatever it is, you will use that exact same movement to generate that enormous impact, enormous uh, breaking effect if it's a lock, so that you're set up, ready to deliver it again and again and again and again and again. Because in a real low down, dirty self-defense situation, you're gonna keep hitting until it's over. You're gonna keep hitting until it's over. You don't hit once, have a look and admire your handiwork. You keep going, bang, 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 until it's definitely over. End of story. You cannot afford to throw a hit, have a look, oh, that was a quite a good one, wallop, all of a sudden they're back on you. It's bang, 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 bang. And there's not many people are gonna take full on, full speed, full power, bare knuckle, on jaw, repeated shots. Don't matter how big they are, don't matter how many muscles they've got, you can't put muscle on jaw, and if you know how to hit and you deliver it hard and fast, and lots of them, even if it takes lots of them, I ain't going to take it. Right? Hopefully it will only take one. But you keep going, bop, 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 until it's over. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that clip. Show you some more in a few days. And please remember, 
the like and the subscribe. See you soon. Thank you.